Clear? Yeah, we're good. Hey, rookie, you out there? Respond, that's an order. Give it up, Gunny. Even if he ain't dead, he's lost in that soup. Our comms can't cut through that. Oh, give up, huh? What if it were you down there? Just saying. I ain't dead. <laughs> You're a piece of work, Romeo. Welcome aboard, ladies. First stop, anywhere but here. Banshees, on your six! In for Jack! We're losing her! Watch out! Mickey, duck! Status! Alive or dead, we're pulling them out. You hear me? Make some noise. I got your back. Hi, this is Nemesis, and welcome to a Let's Play of Halo Let's 3 ODST. With me today is Fusion Fox. On the way up. Good evening, people. Now we get to kill them. And right now we're playing as Romeo, who is the jerk-ass of the team. <laughs> I was going to ask who we building. were playing as, because I think really this is the first ODST video that I've been Do you ever get tired of bitching, Romeo? Are we Master Chief at all in this game, or is he not balls? present? No Master Chief at all. Okay, I can live with that, surprisingly. <laughs> has no complaints from me. And when the... Take it out. Yeah, That's we haven't seen this yet, and then right after he says that... Cypher, get down! Oh. <laughs> So yeah, I was watching that intro. That didn't seem to go very well. Nope. Yeah, things seem to not go well for them at all. Yeah, that seems that's a recurring theme in this game. Things just kind of... They never get a break, I think. Everything just goes from bad to worse constantly. It's like... Film noir. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is the sniper mission of the game, in case you didn't figure that out. See, I'm more used to snipers kind of hiding and, and waiting. I, I know you're using a sniper rifle, but you just seem, you're still kind of running into the, the fray of battle here. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm not a coward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm just going right in the middle of things and then getting <laughs> shot at like crazy. Not your traditional slash. Nope. <laughs> Safety, what's that? <laughs> How do I use this gun? Like hit your face and no wait, no. <laughs> yeah, not right there, I completely miss. Last bag! I need you a lot better than this, I promise. At least you do have that pistol close range. Yeah, that could be Yeah, sort of, but that pistol's actually got a scope and it's also long, but it's long <laughs> range weapon too, so... <laughs> there is nothing you can't put a scope on. Put a scope on all the weapons! <laughs> Shotgun, put a scope on it. <laughs> yeah. I hate Jackal so much. So much. Could you get one of the shields like that? I wish. People have been asking for that since the beginning. They still, it still hasn't happened. <laughs> it even teases within one of the books. That it's like, oh, the chief just picks up a sh jackal shield and uses it. It's like, ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> that doesn't happen in the game. Jackals with carbines up top. Watch yourself. Yeah, some people were like, oh, when they introduced dual wielding, it's like, oh, maybe they'll let us yeah, use a single, like a dual wield weapon in one hand and a jackal shield in the other. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I hate sniping jackals, just because I swear sometimes I'm shooting right at their head and it's not counting as a headshot. Makes me. They have very small angry. heads. Yeah, they have very small, narrow heads, so it's sometimes <laughs> difficult. Sometimes you actually go, are shooting at the head, but what's happening is the bullet's going through their mouth. So it's not counting. <laughs> you would think that would count, but... Yeah, it's like, it's you know, the mouths are open, and it's like a beak, so it just goes to the side, it's like, oh. <laughs> Sneaky bastards. Yep. Oh. Oh, yeah, and I can believe I shot that wall that was gonna attack me, I guess. <laughs> oh god, what's happening? Oh, oh um... 
I lost my stamina and I got hurt a bit, so it's telling me by beeping. <laughs> Only problem is this game gets annoying because whenever your health is less than full, you hear a constant beeping. Even when you're almost got full health, but not quite like right now. <laughs> and you have the red like jam on your face. Well, down, so, so, yeah, yeah, no defying. Red jam. The universal indicator of low health. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay, you can just wipe it off. Yep. Oh jeez, all this jam on my face. Ah! Yeah, but first you have to duck behind cover to wipe it off. <laughs> oh, in case you didn't know, the other ODST we're with is Buck and he's played by Nathan Fillion. From Firefly and stuff. I never actually watched Firefly. Shame on you! Yeah, it's, dead. <laughs> it's pretty much the reaction I get from most people that have seen it. Mainly because its fans are pretty, you know, fanatic about Well, they all just kind of stepped out of the fact, you know, got cancelled by Fox, and the Fox played all the episodes out of order, so it was confusing when you first watched on TV. <laughs> so you're like, wait, what's going on? Wait, who's that? <laughs> Wasn't he dead last episode? Exactly. So. Anyway, the next time I see you in person, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Unless you watch Firefly. It's not like it's too It's only like 13 episodes anyway, so... <laughs> Instead of punching me in the face, you could just show it to me. Like or you, you could, you know, do, you could do both, I guess. <laughs> Cover me, reloading. Only thing is, I got the Blu-ray version, so I'd have to like be in my PS3 or something. <laughs> yeah. See, even the SMG's got a scope. <laughs> That's just unnecessary. Especially since it's a close quarters weapon. <laughs> so how about that Halloween? That's soon. Uh, yep. Halloween. Be one of the people that doesn't care, or what? Well, the only thing I care about is getting candy. Because, <laughs> you know, buy candy to hand out for everyone, but really I'm just hand buying it for myself. <laughs> but the problem is, this year I'm going to be at school, so I'm not going to don't have any excuse to buy candy. <laughs> I'm going to be at school that night, and people are probably just going to egg my house while I'm gone because I'm not giving out candy. <laughs> Goddamn kids. Kids, get off my lawn! Oh my gosh, I'm becoming my dad! Ah! Too old for free candy. Time is candy. Time is candy. <laughs> anyway, I actually like this level just because of the music. This mu the music makes this level. It does sound pretty dramatic. Especially the ending hey. bit. The last part of this level is the best part. You said they'd released it all on like a separate soundtrack? I think. Um... Yeah, they're, they're, all the Halo soundtracks were released. You know, by... And this was like, this was supposed to be just like a small side project, you know. It was supposed to be kind of uninvolved, so it was kind of be really low scale, but then they, the composer decided to make a whole new soundtrack for it anyway. <laughs> I think the original intention was to, like use a lot of this Halo 3 music. Yeah. And then now nah, we're gonna make a whole new soundtrack. And it, a lot of people think that it is probably one of his best efforts, and I have to agree. You know, all the music is Marty O'Donnell makes is awesome. So, what did you think of, of ODST overall then? I honestly think is honestly think it's my favorite but, campaign. I know a lot of people complained about it, I think. Oh yeah, the, the part right. of the complaint was, it's, it's the shortest campaign, but it's also still char they still charge you $60 for it when it first came out. Okay. That was one of the complaints. The multiplayer was just cooperative firefight, which you know, survival horde type thing. Yeah. And yeah. other than that, the uh, multiplayer was just, it was just Halo 3's multiplayer, just repackaged. <laughs> that one taste. 
So, yeah. So, the fact, I think if it was, like, it also didn't help that when they first were talking about it, they said, oh, we're, 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 we're going to charge $40 for it. All of a sudden, they announced it was going to be 60 and people got mad about that. It sounds like the kind of thing they could have released as, like, a, an expansion to Magic. Halo 3, I guess. Yeah, almost. The they said, apparently, if I remember correctly, I'm not totally sure on this. Initially, the plan was, like, it was going to be an expansion. But then they realized some of the stuff they wanted to do, they couldn't do to Halo 3 in Halo 3, so they had to release it as a whole separate thing. Okay. And just, again, it was supposed to be a smaller campaign and all this stuff, so initially was a plan was $40. And then Microsoft's like, no. <laughs> no, we we think they'll pay more than that. And we did, like cool, we all did. <laughs> a lot of people just don't like, also don't like it just because of little things like... Um, the different field of story, the fact there's no Master Chief, all that stuff. But Halo 5 will be too okay. <laughs> oh jeez, I hope not. Long, Don't say that. Like that. Microsoft, if you heard that, ignore him. <laughs> this British guy. Hey Microsoft, call me. Let's talk. No! Anyway, this, this is the reason this part is awesome, because of this music. And the fact that missile pods. Only problem is I accidentally um, pulled this missile pod off, so instead of unlimited ammo, I got only limited amount, because I'm an idiot. I can only describe that music as space guitar. <laughs> space guitar. It sounds like something Matt Bellamy from Muse would play. <laughs> so is this what? high praise what? from what? you? <laughs> Yeah, this is, remember, if you remember, this is the game that, you know, had me saying stupid things on Xbox Live, you know, in front of a camera. <laughs> oh, you, that was you, when you tried it at the, uh, at the expo, or whatever. At the launch party. The launch party. How did you get, how did you get that? But, like, did you have to get involved? Was it part of something else, or? It was, um, well, the EMP in Seattle, the Experience Music Project. I talked about this in, um, one of the solo videos for this Let's Play, but, uh, yeah, I, yeah. it was a you, launch party the night before the game came out. It's like anyone who could, if you can get in line and you're fat, early fast enough, you can get in. And <laughs> Seattle, it's pretty easy for me to get in. Especially after you killed all those people. <laughs> we don't talk about that part. <laughs> but um, yeah. So it was just they had it and they had a whole bunch of firefight boots set up and I got in line. I was playing it and some woman. I think it's, her name's Tina Wood, and she's on the Xbox Live all the time. And she's like, comes up to me, hey, hey you want to be interviewed? I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then, so because to... I made such an idiot myself, I thought there's no way they use food to me. Then the video goes up, and there I am. <laughs> See, I didn't even have to ask you what you thought of it, because I already knew that you thought it was challenging and <laughs> pretty good so far. So far, I absolutely love it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna put, like I said in that video, that last video, I'm probably gonna put that video up on YouTube just because I have it. I mean, how long did you play it when they asked you that? That, that was my first time of playing it, so I had only been playing like a couple minutes, so I was kind of distracted. <laughs> I know the it just kind of looked like videos. you were kind of scared. Well, not really, like you were shocked, like you weren't expecting anyone to come over. Well, and then you didn't really have much to say about it. Yeah, I, I thought I'd be able to concentrate more, but yeah. Oh, right there, the jump cut, just because what happened was an ally shot a rocket at me. I blew up. Really annoying. But, yeah, I think it was just because at the time I was still kind of had a hard time talking to anyone. <laughs> Still kind of do, but it's not bad now anymore. Well, at least they, they thought it was good enough to put up on that thing. Yeah, like I said, they interviewed my friend, but he didn't um, 
on this lineup on there either. So <laughs> they interviewed your friend and he was like, "It's a shit game." <laughs> no, I heard him talking about it. So he actually is talking. Um, I think he, I think he just uh, was too weird about it or something, or they just sounded <laughs> weird. Or he just, I, I can't remember. I think he actually was, was worse than I was, which is kind of scary. They're like, "Hey, what do you think of the game?" He's like, "I love Master Chief. Why is it?" Reloading. <laughs> I, think I have a Master Chief plushie in that room. Oh. Did you know they actually sell grunt plushies now? <laughs> well, I mean, that, they make noises, I guess. I'm not sure if they make noises. I can't remember. I think if they did make noises, I would send one to Kevin. <laughs> I'd send like 100 to Kevin. <laughs> hey, Kevin, hope you like this. What? No! <laughs> By the way, it's on permanently. And solar powered. <laughs> on, boys. We're this. We got one more fence, I'm cutting. Here we go, cutscene. Get her! There's the battle rifle. See it very briefly. The only time the battle rifle appears in this game. And there's Romeo. Ow. We're gonna get chest. you out of here. <laughs> not by air, we're not. That's all right. So, on that note, another way. once again, I am Nemesis, and on behalf of Fusion, I shall see you next Bye. time. Bye. Bye.